In many cases, sketches are the base building blocks for the shape of your design. With Fusion 360's single modeling environment, managing sketches between parts is something you won't even have to worry about. Here's what you need to know about sketching with Fusion 360. You start by selecting a sketch from the toolbar. Determine the plane that you want to start on, and the rest is quite simple. During the creation of sketch entities, you have the option to enter exact dimensions, or simply rough something out, and then add the dimensions later. Adding them while sketching saves a significant amount of time, and the values can be modified at any time. Relationships called constraints manage the behavior of geometry. Many of these behaviors are inferred based upon the position of your cursor or series of commands. Fusion 360 essentially predicts the most appropriate relationship, again saving you time. You don't have to spend time worrying about what sketch line belongs to what component. Sketches are shared between bodies and components, making managing your assemblies a snap. Sketches are the foundation of many commands in Fusion 360. Extrude, Revolve, Sweep, Loft, and Hole are just a few features that rely on Sketch for their definition. When you edit a sketch, the features automatically update based upon those changes. Sketch lines are easily edited. Referencing other geometry is done so by projecting edges or points. And finally, sketches can be made intelligent through the use of parameters and equations. So in summary, you start sketching by selecting a flat surface or a work plane. Take advantage of placing dimensions during the creation of sketch objects. Constraints manage how sketch objects behave. Sketch as many profiles for as many bodies or components as you want. Worry about assembly management later. To modify the shape of an extrusion or other sketch-based features, just edit the sketch. And finally, use parameters and equations to simplify the management of your parts. In the next video, we will use these sketches as the basis for our 3D geometry then take them a step farther by using the scope features to explore freeform modeling.